think I'm going to try to vlog again. This seriously has, I have like tried since, gosh, since December. I think I've tried like about four times to do a vlog. I would start the vlog, sometimes I would add some clips, and then I would delete it because I, I thought it stunk. I thought it was boring. But I'm going to go ahead and start this because I'm cresting on my birthday week. And Jay and I are going to be going away. He has surprised me, although you know I'm such a... <laughs> A nasty snoop I know what it is obviously so he has surprised me we're gonna go away for my birthday and I'm gonna vlog it so this is the start of my birthday of week vlog I'm gonna be 66 in a few days 66 oh my gosh so now I need to make a decision about do I want to collect Social Security do I want to wait till I'm 70 I still don't know what to do and I don't know how much time you have after your birthday to make that decision. So maybe making no decision is the decision I need to, to do right now. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so join me on my birthday vlog, guys. I don't know where this is going to bring us, but I will be adding pieces to it and you will eventually see it. I'm going to talk a little bit in the vlog, too, about, you know, my makeup and stuff like that. So it's not all just going to be action and adventure and fun stuff. I'm going to talk about other things too. So hang around. <laughs> so I'm standing down by the edge of the ocean and across the way is Martha's Vineyard. You'll be able to see it shortly. Right over there is Martha's Vineyard. We're staying in Falmouth in down in Cape Cod in Falmouth, Massachusetts. And as I pan here, this big red house is the main house. That little tiny red thing is where we're staying. That's our Airbnb. And next to it is like this big mansion. But I wanted to show it to you so you could see what it looked we like. We drove down yesterday and um, we, we we made pretty good timing. It road down wasn't half as crowded or as busy. The Bourne Bridge was pretty easy to get across because normally like in season that would be like notorious. So that was actually pretty easy. And the last night we went to dinner in this little tavern right in Falmouth. We're in South Falmouth. So it was, went to dinner in this little tavern and we just took our picture and we, we just had a, it was just a very low key birthday dinner on my birthday weekend. It was Valentine's Day, so we went early so we could avoid the, the crunch because, you know, we didn't have any reservations. The views here are, are unbelievable. It's really beautiful views. The unit itself needs a little bit of renovation, but the views are wonderful. The location is wonderful, and it's cozy. You know, it's just really cozy. So today, I think we're heading up to Hyannisport, and then we're going to make our way, hopefully, up to the P-Town, up to Provincetown. So... It should be a fun-filled day, and I'll take you along with me. And this is almost to Race Point Beach. And, you know, as soon as we started to get closer to P-Town, you started to see a lot of sand, sand dunes on the highway. It's just amazing. It is such a beachy, nautical location. Jay and I, we marveled at how beautiful it was. The beach itself was amazing, extremely windy and cold down here in the Cape. If you're not familiar with Cape Cod, Provincetown is at the very, very northern edge of Cape Cod. It's gorgeous here. Look at the sand. You're going to fall. Hey, Lava. Look at the sand dunes. That's beautiful. They're so pretty. It was so windy. We stayed for a little bit, but it was so cold and so windy. We just made our way back. And then we drove down to the center of town and we parked at a marina and walked around. I just absolutely love the name of this boat. It just cracked me up. Of course, it was, you know, parking permit only, but, you know, hey, we just did our own thing anyway. We took the slow coastal route up to Provincetown and there wasn't a whole lot of traffic so we made a number of stops on quaint little beaches along the way. One beach was full of shells. It was like wow there were shells everywhere. There's just little tiny shells but there were shells everywhere so I grabbed some of those shells and then we went up to the National Park, um, the National Seashore 
and we went into the visitor center and all that stuff and then we, we made our way up to P-Town. You know, the best way I can describe it, when you get close to P-Town, all you see is sand dunes on the highways and on the byways or the roads or whatever. It's like, it's like almost like at one point it must have been all sand dunes and then they built on it. But what a quaint little town, even off season. So we went to, I forgot, Race Point Beach. And of course, you know, people go there and they get off-road vehicle permits and they can drive their cars or their jeeps or their buggies or whatever on the sand on the beach. It's really, really cool to see. But what a beautiful spot, what a beautiful beach. And we just drove all around, walked all around. It was really, it was windy. And then we went over to the downtown area of, Port, of uh, I was going to say Portsmouth, oh my God, P-Town. It was amazing. And this one alleyway, there were a bunch of different artists that put together in this alleyway. It was really cool. I'm going to show you some of the shots, not all of them, because some of them are really a little bit cool. um, explicit. But it, it was just really amazing. Talented artists. They took fairy tales, turned them into different stories <laughs> or different meanings and stuff like that. It was like, it was so incredibly cool. Went into a couple of jewelry shops. I bought these. I bought these big, long, silver dangling ones that the guy that owns the jewelry shop had made. And everything was on sale. So it was really a good buy. And um, this is just a, an awesome day. On the way home, we stopped and we had dinner. It, it was it was really a full, full day. And what a, what a gorgeous area. I love Cape Cod. And I love coming here in the off season because <laughs> there's not a whole bunch of tourists. <laughs> Today, I think we're going to go down to Woods Hole. We're going to head south, explore that way, and I'll share some of that stuff, obviously, as well. But I'm going to see if there's any kind of mall and, and all that. But I'm so pleased with the makeup I brought this trip. I'm going to have to show you. I didn't, I mean, it was pretty minimum. I didn't pack a whole lot, as you can see here. But the foundation that I bought was just the number seven. So I have the two versions of the number seven, the one you can buy here in the, in the, in the States and the other one just in the UK. And I kind of mixed them together. For a drugstore, I still, for me, hands down, number seven foundation is is really the best. And I, you know, and I like the, um, obviously, the Boost Number 7 products, the Kick-Ass Foundation. I like those as well. But this foundation is really working out well for me. I love it. I'm going to show a picture of it because every time I talk about it, people say, oh, you can buy that. But no, there's something similar, but it isn't the same. It isn't even the same name. It's the same brand, but it is not the same product. So I'm going to make sure I enclose that picture so you can clearly see what it looks like. But foundation lasts on me all day. It doesn't crease, doesn't get whatever, and it's really cool. So anyways, Jay's waiting. He's got his coat on. The car's warming. We're going to take off for our adventure. I was bound and determined to go to Hyannis Port and try to see the Kennedy compound. So we parked in a little parking lot, and this is sort of a public part of the beach here. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a crescent beach. It is just so, so, so pretty. I was really happy that we waited till today to do it because... It was a little warmer. It was still very cold and extremely windy, but it was just much, much warmer. And we walked along and took pictures, and we got over to a area where you could start to see that it looked like it was private. And sure enough, at one point, we did see the no trespassing sign. Jay talked to a guy that was walking his dog, and he said to us, if we walk further down, we could see parts of the Kennedy compound where the flag is. You know, we might be able to see some of it, but they pretty well have it blocked off. And a lot of people think that one of the first large houses that you see is actually the Kennedy compound, when in reality it was the house that was used in one of the Kennedy movies or maybe a few of the Kennedy movies. So we were on a hunt to the real Kennedy compound. So this is a private dock, but Jay and I kind of, um, yeah, we just kind of went over it. <laughs> we did. And then when we got over it, that's that house right there is the, uh, the one that's used in the movies and not the real one. So we kept walking, and this is all a private beach area here. You're not supposed to be going down here. 
but we kept walking and we turned the corner and there was nothing but sand dunes. As you can see here, I'm giving Jay my camera with the selfie stick and what he's filming, which none of us could see on the ground, is part of the Kennedy compound, the real one. And so I wanted so badly to just climb up there and see it for myself, but I was just afraid we'd get into real trouble because we were trespassing. So it was really thrilling for me to think that I was walking along the same beach that President John F. Kennedy and Bobby Kennedy and Caroline and John John and all the other kids played at when they were little. It was amazing. We stopped for dinner and then made our way back to the Airbnb where I decided to show you what was in my new Teddy Blake handbag. Now, some of you said you wouldn't like this because it didn't have a snap or inserts and all that. I think I'm going to buy an insert to put in here. But the, the lack of a snap or closure really doesn't bother me for a day bag. If I was traveling and on a plane, it, it would bother me. So in this little pouch, for me, it's big enough to put my office keys, which is what's in that little glitterly thing, and also my business cards. My vlogging camera, excuse my nails, I'm desperately in need of a manicure. And that's my wallet that I carry. I've had that wallet forever. And in there, I've got my cosmetic bag and my new my new sunglasses oh my gosh I love these sunglasses they were sent to me for review and I will tell you wait till you see the review these are these are amazing I love them so in my cosmetic bags I don't really carry a whole bunch of stuff can you see that I've got samples on my hand there was um, an Ulta and I was testing stuff but sunblock I'm going to have to talk about the sunblock I brought because I was so disappointed. And then I've got my compact, my Estee Lauder. This is the foundation, the cushion foundation or the cream count foundation that I use for touch-ups. And then just a few other different hand creams. This is what I get at uh, Bath and Body Works when they have their big sale. And uh, this is, I, I really like this stuff. This is just the cheapy Blistex, but it's a sunblock, and of course my favorite, favorite lipsticks. Have I told you how much I love the color of the world lippies? Sweet color, I love that color. Oh my gosh, I love those lipsticks, period. They're, they're just really nice. So a few other little incidentals. I've got a blush in case I find myself too pale and I'm out and about, so I can put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. I like this. I don't use this every day. I just use that as a basic touch-up. And of course, I need this. I need to have my concealer. Yes, I can't go anywhere without that concealer. I love that concealer. So anyways, as you can see, I can hold pretty well a lot of everything in there, including mascara, just in case I need to touch up. So I think the bag is really nice. It is more of a special occasion. I don't think I would be using the bag, like I said, traveling on a plane. I don't think I would be doing that or hiking or anything like that. But going out for dinner, it held my little ring light, it held my wallet, held my selfie stick, held everything. Hey guys, I'm gonna close out the vlog with just a couple of things I wanna mention. First of all, we had a a fantastic time on my birthday and going away to the Cape I really wanted to make sure that I stay on a routine but I also wanted to make sure I protected my skin so I had been hearing an awful lot about this sunblock and this is the CeraVe the new hydrating sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 30 for the face lightweight non-greasy I've heard so much about this product I said all right let me go and try it so I figured going down the Cape it's gonna be a little warmer even though it's dead of winter still and it was pretty cold down there it was sunny on most most of the time that we were there so I brought this but of course I brought this I wanted to really test this out and see how it would work on my skin and I'll just have to tell you guys and I know we're all different everyone's skin is different I could not wear this and then put foundation on. Even, I started to use it at home a couple of days. It left a real white cast on my face. After a long time that dissipated, I was able to put my foundation on, but my foundation would pill up. It would just like, it would just pill up. And I said, all right, you know, 
hang in there, keep trying it because everyone loves it. So I took it with me to the Cape and I did the same thing. Now, one day at home, I waited almost an hour and a half before I put foundation on. It still peeled up. I had to wash it off. And so down the Cape, it did the exact same thing. So this was like a huge fail for me. And I was like really bummed because I really wanted to try a hydrating, because this is hydrating sunscreen. And I thought it might work better with my dry skin. When I use this, I do have to put oil on my skin. I have to use a face oil because I have dry skin. But this is about the only thing that literally, this really is the only thing that literally works on my skin. So the CeraVe was this huge, huge bust. One thing that I got in the mail, and I'll show you the, the packaging. Some of you have heard of this company, Burst. I got this in the mail before I went away, and I charged it up. I started to use it a couple of days before we went away. Now, I am in the process of having some dental work done, and so I'm, I'm going, I've had a couple of deep cleanings of scalings and so I'm, I've been going very regular to the dentist and they measure my gum and all gums and all that stuff. So I started to use, this is the Burst Sonic. This, I'll tell you, I so much love this. Now, of course, I'm doing other things too. You know, I'm flossing. Thank you, Sheila. Life with Lily. Oh my God, I still call it Life with Lily. Simply Sheila. And I'm flossing and I've got a water pick and I've just been really diligent on trying to, since I've been going to the dentist and trying to work on these problems that I'm having. So when I had an opportunity to review this, I was like, sure, absolutely. I'll tell you, I love it. I love it. Yesterday, I went to Kohl's. And they had, I had a 30% off, and I was going to be looking at other Sonic toothbrushes. I wanted to see what they compared to, and I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll get J1. I couldn't believe the prices, number one. And the ratings were not any better. The reviews that I read were not any better at all than this for $69 when it's not on sale. So I'm ordering J one of these, so he has his own Sonic toothbrush this was said to me complimentary for review but i'm going to tell you this is a game changer for me for those of you that have perfect teeth that you've been using a sonic toothbrush it probably isn't going to be anything new but i will tell you the price point for this is unbelievable so if you're on the fence and you don't you don't want to spend 200 dollars for a phillips or for any other kind of a sonic you know toothbrush system check out this burst. I'll leave the information link be below. Again, I've only been using this for what, maybe two weeks now. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Total, total game changer. And while I was away, many of you complimented me on my shades. These are called Sojo's. I don't know if you've heard of this company. Um, they contacted me via Instagram and said, would you like to try some of their sunglasses? So I wore these a lot in my clips and I wore these a lot in my Insta stories. So many of you have reached out and said, oh, love your glasses, love your shades. I tell you, really believe that I saw better with them on, even though they're not prescription, as far as the sun was so blinding. And with these on, you know how when you wear sunglasses, you know, you sometimes you still have to squint a little bit, you know, and all that, which of course contributes to your wrinkles. With this, my squinting was a minimum compared to my other glasses. So they sent me three for a review. I tell you, I couldn't believe the packaging. The way they came packaged up in this box is unbelievable. I just dropped something. This is the second pair that they sent. I haven't even opened this up yet. I only opened up the first pair. So they all come with a cleaning cloth. They come with their own magnetic closure for a case. And well, well wrapped, amazing quality. And I really think that this is like totally reduced my squinting. Oh, these are kind of funky. What do you think? I like these. They're very different for me. They're more round. 
excuse my lights. Anyways, I love these. I'm going to link all the information. I think they're extremely affordable. I guess it all really depends on what you spend for sunglasses, but they're just amazingly affordable. And then I have these clear ones. And I'm really not too sure. <laughs> I'm not too sure the story behind this, but a cleaning bag. The accessories that came with these glasses are amazing. I mean, we absolutely, we had a great time and, and we walked around, we hiked, we climbed over sand dunes, we did all sorts of stuff. And one of the trusty, trusty things that we brought was our realm. Jay is, he won't go anywhere without, without this. So I took the recovery stick and I took the calm because I've been using the calm at night and I put it by my head. It kind of helps quiet. I got my plastic from my glasses. It kind of helps quiet, you know, my brain a little bit from, because like I sometimes at night just think, 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 and think, and it's hard to shut it down. I love this at night. And the recovery stick is awesome. In fact, Melissa55 sent me a message and she had bought this for her husband, Doug. And she said, to, and she told me, she said, he loves this. He keeps it by his computer. I'm not too sure if it's for his hands. With, I'll have to ask Melissa exactly what Doug was using this for. But I think it has something to do with the repetitive motion on his computer. And he loves it. He says it has, it really helps with that temporary relief of pain. That's really the only way I can say it. The temporary relief of pain. So we brought this. And uh, thank you so much for watching the vlog. I've got a couple of other reviews coming up of different products that I've got. One that I'm super excited about. It is the Foreo UFO. And I'll tell you. Uh, it's not an, it's, it's, it's an adult proof package because I had the hardest time. I'm sorry, Foreo. I had the hardest time opening up that package. I was reaching out and I think it was Sheila who uh, responded first and she was Googling and I was Googling and we were trying to figure out and Sheila finally found a video on how to open it packaging so I got the Foreo open and then Marlene chimed in she said oh, I've been googling I'm so glad you got it open but uh, I'll tell you the packaging on some of these products are like insane and they're not easy <laughs> so anyways I'm going to talk about that that is the UFO mask system that they have so I'm really looking forward to that and I've also I'm getting a couple of other products I'm not too sure they should be arriving I think this week sometime. So I'm going to talk about that. And I am also doing an update on this baby. The A313. Yeah, I'm going to talk about this guy and my Retin-A and what my feelings are about this. I will tell you, though, that we have the the original. I, I know that I think it was um, Angie, a hot and flashy, who had picked up one of these and got one that did not have the correct ingredients. So after much investigation, we were able to determine that we do have the correct version of this. So I think after six weeks, I can at least tell you what my thoughts are about it. Not that I'll know if it's working so quickly, but I can tell you what my thoughts are. So look forward to that video or look for that video. And also in my your reaction, guys, on my wig, I had done that wig review, the Sonoma, the the really bold one with the roots and the curls and all that. And those of you that left a comment, you were all super favorable. In fact, some of you said you'd like to see more, more wig videos. So typically I've been like incorporating my wig videos inside a regular video. So, but maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do one separately. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll see. But... Yeah, I have a lot of things that have worked out super well for me. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up the video and leave me a comment and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye, guys.